Hey fourth grade, we're going to get started with lesson four of chapter two, and that is estimating sums and differences. So a sum is the answer to an addition problem, a difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, and we're going to be estimating. So you're probably thinking, well, what does that mean? What are we going to do today? Estimating means we're going to round. So remember how I said that that rounding lesson was going to come back and back and back throughout this year and throughout all of your years to come in math? I wasn't joking, hello. Um, so yes, we are back to rounding again. And so that skill that we learned in lesson five of chapter one um, is again being used as we estimate. So if you remember the story that I showed you during lesson five, it was called Coyotes All Around. And Mr. Coyote was um, estimating, okay? He was not just rounding, he was estimating an answer. He was trying to figure out an answer that was very close to a correct answer. And whenever they worked out all the math, he came very close every single time. And he did that through rounding. So when we round to different place values, we can come very close to what would be an actual answer. Um, so today we're going to be looking at problems like in example one, where we'll have numbers in the thousands, maybe even up to a hundred thousands. And today we will be told where to round to just to give us some more practice with rounding and figuring out which place makes the most sense for a certain problem. Uh, but in real life, when you're using this skill in your everyday life, you will get to choose where you round to and what makes most sense for the problem that you're working with. So let's go ahead and take out our notes and we're going to do a few sample problems today. We're going to practice rounding and then we'll be either adding or subtracting the numbers that we round. All right, so in lesson four, again, we are um, learning how to estimate sums and differences. So we're going to quickly write down what do these vocabulary terms mean? Um, so to estimate means we are finding what's called an educated guess. And today we'll be doing that through rounding. You might also hear um, the term um, educated guess in science someday, and that will be a hypothesis for an experiment. Um, but in math, we find an educated guess by estimating or rounding. Again, the sum is the answer to an addition problem. And a difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Okay, so these terms are all very, very important as we continue on with this lesson today. So let's go ahead and do a few examples so that you can see how do we go about um, showing our estimates. Um, so let's do example one. Example one is going to be 5,342 and we're going to be finding a sum which means we're adding. We're going to add 298. Now off to the side in all your problems for this lesson is going to be um, the place value that you should round to. So we're going to kind of put this off to the side over here. And so as we go about finding this, um, we're going to be rounding to the hundreds place. What I always like to do so that I don't do extra work is I like to put some scribbles down here or put a bunch of X's, make it look kind of sloppy. It doesn't matter what you do, but that way you know you're not finding the exact answer. This is not what we're looking for. What we need to do instead is draw a couple arrows over here to show that we're rounding both of these numbers to find a similar number to them or a number that's very close. Um, I'm actually going to start with 298 because that's really, really close to 100. Is it close to 200 or is it close to 300? Because that's what it's between. 298, it's only two away from which one of those? 300, right? So 298 rounds to 300. Now we can also go back and we can think about our rounding song of finding the place, looking next door, is it five or more? Nine is five or more, so we raise the score of the two to a three, everything else becomes zeros. Okay, however you would like to look 
at it. Um, it's up to you. Whatever makes the most sense to you, um, do that. Okay? It's kind of in your hands as to what helps you the most. So, but with this one, I think I'm going to definitely use our rounding song because it's a little bit bigger of a number. So I found the hundreds place and I looked next door. It looks like it's four or less, so the three will stay a three. Still bring over your five though. Keep the three, everything else becomes zeros. Now when I add, I'm going to have a real easy time with the first few place values because they're all zeros and zero plus zero is nothing, right? So I'm going to do that really quick. Then I'll start with my digits that I have, which is three plus three. That's six, and then bring down the five. So my estimated answer for this problem is 5,600. So as I go about estimating a sum, this is what it would look like. Let's look at an example of estimating a difference. We're going to do 9,185 minus 6,000. 239. Okay, and this one, let's write off to the side. We're going to round to the thousands place when we're estimating. So if I'm rounding to the thousands place, that's the biggest place value that I have in both of my numbers. So I'm going to find the place and look next door. Remember, we're not finding this answer, so scribble it out, put some X's, whatever you want to do. Uh, you could just write a big no or stop. Okay, draw your arrows because we need to switch our gears to rounding. I found the place and I looked next door. One is about the smallest number, one of the smallest numbers I could have there. So it's obviously going to stay a nine. Everything else becomes zeros. Find the place, look next door. Two is four or less. Let the six rest. Look to the right, put zeros in sight. Now when I subtract, again, it's super easy for the first few digits there because they're all zeros. All I have to do is 9 minus 6, and that's 3. So my final answer here is 3,000. So if you were to go through and actually solve this problem, it would come out to a number that's very, very close to 3,000. Uh, so this is a very good educated guess. Okay, let's just do one more example so we kind of get the hang of it. Let's do 7,172 minus 5,103. We're going to round to the hundreds place this time. Okay, am I finding the actual answer? No. I need to come over here and round. If I'm rounding to the 100 spot, go ahead and circle your 100 spots and draw an arrow to next door. Okay, for this top number, I look next door, it's five or more. The one becomes a two and the rest are zeros. Okay, find the place I look next door. That is the smallest number I could have there, so that one is not going to change. But I still need to bring over the five, and everything else becomes zeros. When I subtract, I'm going to have zero, zero, two minus one is one, five minus seven is two. So my answer is 2,100 or 2,100. Um, so this is lesson four, estimating sums and differences. Don't forget about that rounding song. Keep practicing those skills and do your best.